new items kick in in our own game, but maybe now we will. Yeah, can I just say I was absolutely revolted. Crystal Maiden did not get nerfed in the movement speed department again. Uh, very, very sad to see. Hopefully next up patch though, Ice Frog <laughs> will rectify that mistake, Jonathan. We can we cannot have fast. this hero moving. Yeah, too often nowadays. The matchup against the Wind Ranger shouldn't be oh, the top best lane. of all top. Yeah, Crit already being punished here by the side of Liquid as Boxy moving in early on. Crit trying to survive the best he can, but no, he is gone. And Liquid, a surprising initiation coming out. ATF though, looking for a trade, already onto Insania, and just look at the damage output. However, now ATF, oh. he's also going to find himself in trouble, and he's gone! Against Alchemist, Gyro doesn't do anything, so you're just farming as oh, Amar again. Amar up top. Oh, again, Amar being caught, the Sprout a little bit off the mark, but blocking the way. Oh, top, they're pinging at ATF again. This time though, Insania may have gone a little bit too early. Oxy is around the corner to help out if they wish, but Insania is dropping very little. No, here comes Mikkei, ATF just trying for the kill. Does get it, but it's gonna cost his own life again. Flash farming ready for our Alcon Skitter. You don't have those resources. The aggression from Liquid early on is just way too much. And against throwing off this temple, although will try a little bit, but Saber Light's pretty damn tanky. It feels like you're at the stage for the Omni Knight where you just can't really deal with him. As now Boxy moves in with the Sprout again, though Snaking able to run out for now. As now Skitter continuing onto the Omni. They really want the kill, but Saber Light, he's just oh. such a tanky boy. And they'll find a double. Halloween's nowhere near to try to help Save They're still everyone. trying. They are still trying. Maureen does rotate and he does get the Omni Knight kill. But in the meantime, ATF ends up dying at the top lane. His fifth death of the game. Not an easy one to pin down at the I moment. I tell you that. He's got a double damage now. So Nisha, he wants to move in with the focus fire. Snowball will come out from Maureen. Nisha in a very awkward position. Is going to get caught out by the looks of it as he does go down. Getting baited by the amplification rune. Zinsania also getting caught. Four heroes in the middle to ensure they win that engagement. He's holding onto these bounty runes. Three bounties just standing there for snaking because he will take all three of them. Very, very patient Dyer's with the taker's knee shot. Move in, see if we can find himself Radiant's a gyrocop to kill. He does have the level two power shot if he can get enough damage out first. And snaking, well, he does have the raindrop, so it will still remain safe. But here comes Mickey. That's one down. Mickey wants more. He's onto a mega kill streak already. Onto ATF they go. The Viper really has no way out of this fight, it seems, as he will try onto Mickey. Can they take him down, Mickey? Oh, he's oh. gone. Alchemist, normally when you have that Alk, you'd want to be a good 2k up, 3k up with lots of stacks. You don't have that in this game. You certainly don't, and Snaking right now, he won't have a life in this game, as he is gone. Nisha with a nice rotation. In comes Maori, but the Shackle is out. They'll hold the Tusk down. Snowball is there, back in onto the Wind Ranger. Here comes ATF, looking for some revenge against Liquid. It looks like they'll have the Wind Ranger, but they won't find anyone quite else. See if they can catch Saberlight with his pants down. The Saberlight, again, he's a pretty tanky target to try and go for, but they will jump in with the Walrus Punch. Saberlight taking about half his HP and worth of damage, and Saberlight is gone. Tanky or not, did not sustain the damage output that came out from Falcons. Is now Liquid trying to punish as best they possibly can. They'll find Crit first, but here comes Skidder. Skidder going to join the fray. They take down Boxy. They'll lose Crit, at okay. least on the Shadow. Demon, but Mike trying to tank through it. Skidder, he's taking way too much damage. The shards are going to block the way from Nisha, but the power shot, it's going to fly through Skidder. He's still going to go for a run. It looks like he will make it out as Mike is the one to go down. Meanwhile, Nisha gets stunned up, still sticking around by the Twin Gates, will go for the Shackle, but he's going to be so careful. Maureen, he's going to survive another day. Nisha really playing with fire now as the shards, it'll block the way. He has to go the other no way. way out towards the west, and Nisha's been caught. Nisha still trying but he is down. Meanwhile, Insania, he'll go for the freezing field. Is it going to be quite enough? It doesn't really seem like it. Though ATF, ATF might drop. Still trying to retreat Saber Life. He'll take him down. Skitter still around towards the Roshan pit. He goes, but Roshan is on the other side of the map right now. So Skitter, he's got a deny point. Back Saber Life. Now Saber Life might be the one in trouble. He'll heal up though, but here comes Crit. The real carry now. It seems as Crit no. is getting so many no. shadow poison stacks. He will. And for Skitter to see these opportunities to play with the vision going up and down the ramp getting these nice unstable concoctions and dragging this fight to be longer than it should have been for liquid like the bkb flying in right in time as well getting caught live he does have his help help behind him if he needs it shackle not going to quite latch mickey maybe going a little bit too far the punch is there and mickey is just the leader just nisha oh. will follow right afterwards and there goes boxy falcons Mar? Now he's okay. Oh, Nikkei or Nisha gonna find him. 
ATF, he could bait for his team though, these by the T1 tower. Problem is ATF is dropping rather quickly, so he is down. Now the gyrocopter snaking, he is gone to boot by the looks of it, but he will still have a little bit longer, but it seems like he is down. However, Mickey is being controlled up by Skinner. Skinner oh. will take him down as well. Sable light. Would have a great way of coming back into this game number two as Malreen gets aggressive mid lane. Is forced to snowboard back towards the freeze wave as well. He's gonna try and jump in on Mickey. Mickey though does get hit up here by Safe for Light and they want that fine. ATF needs to run. Skidder, I'm not sure this is what you wanted, sir. He'll try to back his way out of there with the stun being channeled up. Skidder is still on the run, but the smart lands. Oh my goodness. Mickey to take him down. Snaking, he'll be the next target. They might just lose three, they might even lose four. ATF oh. will try to get out, Boxy. that's the teleportation. Boxy will ensure there is no way out. Equal net worth to Skitter. You don't have that item advantage to leverage on your Alk any longer. So we'll try it onto him. Skitter. Skitter's been caught. Disruption will save from crit, but Mickey looks like he wants to commit. Skitter, he's dropping so oh. down low. Oh. Skitter is gone. Mickey will go for more. ATF barely able to TP away. But you've lost the Alchemist. I'll tell you, oh, and Snaking now. Ooh. Oh, Snaking. He could not get away either. Team Liquid finding even more value. Oh, is smoked up. Mickey into three heroes. He's still going to move in, though. ATF, he will get stunned up. Mickey feeling like a bit of a giga chat, though. He's taking a fair bit of damage, but Sableye's right behind him. That's where the confidence comes from, because ATF, he's got no one to save him. He is without a BKB. Ew. He needs to save himself, and he looks like he is just dead. That is your Viper down. 90 seconds down Viper. On they go into the T3 bottom tower. They need a creep wave, though. The creep wave currently is non-existent. Instead, though, Crit has been caught on the Shadow Demon, or at least spotted. Sableye will chase him down. Crit will be able to barely blink away. Meanwhile, Nisha looking towards snaking in the Radiant Face. Crit still running, but Foxy right behind him does get the spread up. So Crit is down. Tips out from Sableye. Hell Force is out. Nisha. Oh, that's a shackle oh. flying out from Nisha. It won't matter yet. The snowball does save. No, in fact, it does not. Skitter is gone. No and buyback. so is Snaking. No buyback available. What a setup from Nisha. Liquid are just so terrifying now at this point with all the control, but how well they can sustain up front, but how confident they are with Nisha and Nikkei. And there they go. Maureen, he'll go for the kick back into the T4 towers. Mikke, he has his BKB. He could not give a crap. It's the side of Falcons that are burning to the damage. Oh, Maureen is gone. Mikkei and Nisha moving back into the fountain. They are just fountain farming him now. Mikkei oh, getting kicked in. Can he survive? Nisha will take the hits from the fountain. Mikkei just going to TP away as Maureen is gone. And GG is called. To finish here for Liquid. We are going to a game three. And what a spectacular fashion to go into that game three as well. Falcons, they were getting crushed in lanes. You know, they were getting some early rotations out from Liquid. Liquid, Boxy just being a maniac on that nature's profit. They slowed down a bit.